Hi, this is Eddie Hearn, and you're watching Lights Out. This is Fessel Khan for Lights Out, and with me via Zoom, I'd like to be joined by Mark Byrne, and a new professional fighter joined in the ranks all the way from Ireland is Adam Dempsey. Mark, Adam, good afternoon. How's it going? Yeah, all good. Good afternoon, Fessel. Thank, thank you. For, yeah, very well, thank you. Uh, thank you for taking your time out to speak to us. Mark, how you been and where have you been hiding lately? Been hiding in my office and in the gym. <laughs> and that's it. In your office making loads of money and in the gym running the kids ragged, yeah? Yeah, making money in the office and spending money in the gym. Fair enough. Um, Mark, just talk to us a bit about this uh, young and up-and-coming, exciting talent that you've uh, got signed to Shamrock Boxing. Um, tell us a bit about him and what can we expect to see from him in yeah, 2021? Well, I've known Adam for about five years now, since he was about 15, 16. Um, I've had some good friends down in Ackle Island for 20, 30, well, 20, 30 years. Um, so his dad got in contact with me and sent me a video. And we basically got him over just before all Island. It was in all Island, wasn't it, Adam, I think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before Northern Island about three years ago, three or four years ago. Um, and we just kept in contact. So... Surprise to me, because he never mentioned to me turning pro, and I've never talked to Adam about turning pro. I've always stayed clear of that, because that's his decision, and I always wanted it to be his decision. So we see it we see it on Facebook and send him a congratulations, as we do. And because we're quite close and, you know, we've had some history, um, Adam asked me to change it, tra train him. And, um, yeah, I took took up the offer, because he's uh, he's an outstanding kid, fast, and he's... He, I don't talk about many fighters about their being outstanding because everyone's got to prove themselves. But I think Adam's got something there in the pro game. You obviously speak quite highly of him, so he's definitely so. There's something definitely about him, and uh, we know Shamrock's got a history of signing over good young fighters. Um, Adam, was it a no-brainer for you to sign over with Shamrock Boxing and work closely with Mark Byrne? Yeah, yeah, it was definitely a no-brainer uh, with Mark as regards to being my coach. Like he'd he'd been there, like he'd showed me the like bits of pro game and all back when I was younger, when I was amateur. So I don't know. I, I felt it was only right to just stick with him. Like I know him well, so like it's just it'd be comfortable for me to just go to his gym and just like I know I'm in good hands, you know, with Mark. So it'd be yeah, it'd be no bother. Why don't you just talk to us a little bit about your uh, your amateur background? Well, my amateur background, I've had 60 fights in total in my amateur career. Um, I have 53 wins of that and seven losses. I fought international and national. I'm Irish champion. I've fought at the Europeans as well. I boxed for the bronze medal, but I lost to Russia. And then he ended up winning the gold medal as well. So, yeah, that's what I've achieved in the amateur. And he's won, he won seven Connacht titles as well, haven't you? Seven, seven Connacht titles? Yeah, I have seven, seven Connacht titles and seven Mayo titles. But the All-Ireland and boxing at the Europeans would be the main things that I've won. So. Well, listen, you've achieved a lot. You've got a, quite a bit of experience in the amateur side and that will only help you help pay off when you get to starting your professional career. Um, Mark, how far could Adam go? That's down to Adam. That's yeah. Down to Adam. You know, um, he can go as far as he wants to dedicate himself to. You know, we can show him everything in the gym. And But I'm still a big believer, and I've always said this, fighters make coaches. So the further he goes, the further I go as a coach. You know, and because I think a lot of Adam, if, I feel he goes to that next level of worlds and things like that, which I think he could potentially do. We would bring in the best people we could ever do. We'd get people to work with him as well. You know, so I think I think he can go all the way, but it, that is down to Adam. With Adam currently over in Ireland and you being in uh, Little Old Luton in England, how does the sort of training regime work? Well, it's, it's pretty simple, really. I mean, for every fight, he'll be over for between 12, uh, 10 and 12 weeks. And he'll come and stay, stay with us in Luton for every fight camp. Um, 
I'll go over to Ireland as well and help him train in his amateur gym. And he's lucky where he's got his dad that has the amateur gym. So he can tick over in between fights um, at his local gym. Adam, um, obviously that sounds like a really exciting opportunity, you know, getting to, well, I say exciting, coming over to Luton is not the most exciting of things. Um, <laughs> you'll get that opportunity to stay with Mark. You know, you'll get that opportunity to mix in with the lads at Shamrock and I've done many, many interviews there. I know them all, really nice people, good place to carry on learning your trade and pick up a thing or two. But for you, is it just a case of now just keep on learning, carry on building in the gym and hopefully get out there as soon as possible? Yeah, like, to be honest, there's not even, even in my area, there's not really a whole lot of good sparring I can even get. I think it's, like, better that I head over to England. Like, there's top lads over there and stuff that I could be learning off and sparring off. Like, I mean, like, obviously, if you're in with better people, training with better people, like, you're only going to get better. So that's probably the best way for me to improve. Mark, obviously, we're still under this whole pandemic coronavirus lockdown situation. Um, small hall shows, amateur shows have taken a massive hit. But when can we expect to see Adam make his professional debut? And have you got any, I think you could tell us about some of the rest of your guys and when we can expect to see them out as well? Yeah, well, we're hoping to have, I mean, with the lockdown, I can't, it's, it's a, I don't know, crystal ball scenario. But all going well, we will have a Shamrock show at the end of the year. And that will have all the guys on it. It'll be Adam making his pro debut. It will be Gary Hughes, Ishi, And I'm hoping to get a couple of other fighters on there um, that are... Um, yeah. so at the end of the year, we'll, we're hopeful we can get Adam on his pro debut on a home show. The idea is to get him on the home shows, get him used to the small hall, get him used to the pro scene, get him used to selling tickets. Um, but we can look after him on the home shows. Adam, how frustrating has it been for you? Because, again, I know I've, I've worked closely with fighters before. I know how much time and dedication they put in the gym. And especially when you want to make your, your pro debut, there's a lot of excitement behind it. There's a lot of people that are eager to see what you're all about. But how frustrating has it been for you during this period not to sort of get out there and show everybody what you're about? Well, to be honest, for now, I think it's, it's all right the way it is because, like, I don't have a lot of, training in the pros like game so it doesn't really bother me as of now i just want to continue learning learn as much as i can until the end of the year and then i can just put on the best performance that i possibly can so it doesn't doesn't really affect me as of now mark um adam what type of a fighter is he what does he bring to the game and what weight can we expect to see him at i'm not going to give too much away but he's a southpaw oh brilliant fighting that um between light welt and welter, we'll see how his body transforms. He's just 20 at the moment, so we'll, we'll take him under our wing and we'll see how it goes with weight. I'm not gonna, I don't like killing fighters with weight. Adam's quite a strong lad and musky lad at his age. So, you know, ideally light welter would be nice, um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, what can you expect from him? If his dedication is anything to go by, he should be a world champion within two weeks. That's how dedicated he is. He's very dedicated. A world champion in two weeks. That's a, that's a lot of money for you, Mark. <laughs> if, if you put well, where I'm coming from, the, the analogy is the way he dedicates himself. If you put that in line of what he could achieve, he, he's doing two weeks. You know, I know it sounds stupid, but the dedication that guy has is unbelievable. You know, so just being a silly phrase out in the air. Two weeks, he should be, you know, line his dedication up for what he can achieve. Two weeks to be a world champion. Well, we know that's never going to happen, but dedication wise, what I'm trying to explain to it's up here, it's second to none. Well, listen, I mean, in this game, you know, doing this for over three years, the one thing that a fighter requires is is dedication. You know, it's it's a 24 7 job. And uh, listen, if, if Adam's got it. And if he can show that dedication, hopefully all the hard work pays off. Um, Adam, hopefully you're going to be at 147 or 154. Let's just, I don't know, the way Mark's talking, I'm, I think it'll probably be at 154. That's one of the best divisions in the country right now, if you look at the British domestic level. Um, it's got Fitzgerald 
Anthony Fowler, Hamza Shiraz, you know, Ted Cheeseman, Kieran Conway got some real, real good fighters up there. Um, not anytime soon, but are you hoping, you know, after the first couple of years, maybe you'll sort of be on that level with those fighters? Yeah, yeah, I think I think I could be if I just give it everything and put every put all the work in. I think I could. Like I believe in myself. I believe I do have the skill to do it. I just need to stay dedicated and stay focused. Mark, we're, we're obviously, as I mentioned, we're still under the current situation with the whole pandemic. Um, looking at the shows that we've seen since boxing returned, not only this year, but also towards the back end of last year, we've seen a lot of 50-50 fights. You know, promoters are not waiting around. They're not sort of, you know, taking their time with certain fighters. And we've seen quite a few 50-50 fights over the last last two Saturdays. If Adam could get a few wins under his belt and make it cause a bit of a noise and, you know, grab everyone's attention, is 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 that going to be the exact same with Adam is to get him into these 50-50 fights as soon as possible? Or do you want, is it just a case of take your time with him? Yeah, take your time with him. He's too young. Too young to destroy his career by being hasty. You know, we, we've got a route in mind what we're going to achieve. Um, so, Adam, you know, between us, ideally, we would like to go for the Irish title. So that's something that's first on our list um, because it's it's both to our hearts is, is Ireland and the, the Irish title. So, you know, we'll just take our time. He's got he's in no rush. He's 20 years of age. Adam, growing up as a young, young kid, when well, you're still young, um, you know, you're, you're a 20 year old now. But which fighter was it that you looked at closely? Which fight is it that you're hoping to emulate as your pro career goes on? Floyd Mayweather, <laughs> the best boxer ever. <laughs> best boxer ever. That's my favorite boxer. I think he's just the greatest boxer that ever existed. I think just too good. Like defense wise, it's just defense is perfect. Mark, why did you have your hands um, in, in in your face there? Because uh, with the first time what? I had him come over, he um, he wanted me to show him the Mayweather roll and defense and block and the pads and. Uh, I said I don't teach that, but we for some how I don't know how he got me to do it, but we did it because <laughs> he said to me one day in the gym, "You don't teach this," and so we ended up doing it for a session. So that's why I put my hands on my head. But um, yeah, I mean, he, he's one of the best. It's not the, that's not the reason I put my hands on my head. It was a little bit of a, a banter between me and Adam. Well, Mark, if you're teaching that to Adam, I think I might come down for a session myself and learn a, f- a thing or two of what Floyd done in the ring. I'm not that sort of coach, trust me. <laughs> All right, Adam, uh, what can we expect to see from yourself in uh, the first the first few years of your pro career? How excited should the fans be? Um, <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of a... I'd say, um, well, like, I'm a southpaw, so, like, that's... It's already, like, I mean, I'm strong. People have often said that I've had a... I'm kind of, a, like, heavy-handed for my weight and size. So, like, you can expect, like, hard hitters. Like, I'm also, like, a counter-puncher as well. So, I mean, a lot of counter-punching, a lot of hard punches, basically, yeah. Exciting times ahead. I'm looking forward to seeing this pro debut. Hopefully, we can get small hall shows and even amateur boxing yeah. back as soon as possible. Mark, anything else you'd like to add? No, I just obviously thank you for giving Adam the time, you know, just watch this space because I think, I think Adam's really... He's got, like I say in my comment, you know, the dedication he's got, you know... If you could put that dedication in fast track into a world title, it'd be two weeks. That's that's how silly it is, his dedication. Because it, it's just so high. And I'm looking forward to working with him. He, he's he's a true gentleman. He really is, you know, and he'll have a he'll have a big fan base, you know, and we we've got the Luton Irish behind us as well, and obviously everyone in his hometown. So, you know, we're bringing Irish boxing back to Luton like it used to be as well. Well, as I said to many people, it's, um, it's, it's an exciting time for, for boxing down in Luton and um, the list of good young talent yeah. keeps on growing. So, you know, we're sport for choice. But I uh, know, Mark, uh, listen, the, the pledge is all ours. Um, you know, we'll do anything to help the, the young and up-and-coming yeah. fighters. And, of course, yourself. We've known you for quite a while now. So we're really glad we can get Adam and yourself on here. Um, Adam, Mark, best of luck in terms of going forward. Keep us up to date with a potential fight date. And hopefully when Adam's down in Luton, we'll head down to the good old Shamrock Boxing Gym and grab a face-to-face interview with him. Yeah, well, he'll be down on okay. the 6th of April. Th- well, he comes over on the 4th of April mm-hmm. um, for two weeks. 
we'll, we'll look forward to bumping into Adam down at the Shamrock Boxing Club. Right, Mark, Adam, thank you very much for your time. I'll let you crack on with your Sunday and look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Yes, fast. Take yeah, care. Thank you. Thank you for all the lights out. Thank you.